In this video, I'm going to teach you how to classify an organic reaction as being either an oxidation or a reduction process. This is something that you start learning in general chemistry. In general chemistry, when we study redox reactions, um, you are taught how to take a half reaction, such as this example right here, to look at the movement of electrons in that half reaction, and then to apply a trick, such as oil rig, which stands for oxidation is loss, reduction is gain, or maybe you learned Leo the lion says Ger, which stands for loss of electrons is oxidation, gain of electrons is reduction. Regardless of which trick you, you were taught, you learned to look at where the electrons were in this balanced equation. Are the electrons a reactant or are the electrons a product? Are electrons being lost or are electrons being gained, like they are in this case? And use that to classify the reaction as either an oxidation or a reduction. This reaction, because reductions are being gained, this is a reduction reaction, which we indicate by putting in square brackets an, a capital R or sometimes an H. Now, this trick that we learn in Gen Chem, well, that it is very valid and it works really well for reactions like this. It really doesn't work very well at all for or for our organic reactions. If we look at these reactions, it is very difficult for us to tell if electrons are being gained or electrons are being lost. We don't have any charges to help us figure these things out. If we tried to calculate formal charges, we would find that that is no help either. So in organic chemistry, we have to expand on these oil rig and Leo Ger mnemonic tricks to include um, some new tricks that will help us classify reactions in organic chemistry. Now, fortunately, it's a lot easier to classify reactions as oxidation or re reduction when we're dealing with organic molecules. Oxidation reactions, there's a, there's a lot of, there's several different criteria for oxidation reactions. One of them is simply the addition of oxygen. So if a reaction involves a molecule having oxygen added to it, we classify that as an oxidation. So that's pretty simple. Addition of oxygen would be considered an oxidation reaction. Um, reduction, on the other hand, is the opposite, removal of oxygen. So if we lose oxygen atoms from a reaction, that would be considered a reduction reaction. For example, look at this reaction right here. We're starting with two oxygen atoms and we're ending with only one oxygen, oxygen atom. That is definitely a reduction reaction. So you see that's pretty straightforward. Not all of the reactions are going to involve changing the number of oxygen atoms. So like if we look at these first two, they both start with one oxygen atom and end with one oxygen atom. So this is not very helpful. So we need to add to these definitions as well. Oxidation can also be defined as the removal of hydrogen. And then reduction would be the opposite, addition of hydrogen. So if we go back to these reactions right here, it makes it a little bit easier for us to classify. Like for example, in this, this first reaction, we can see that we have added a hydrogen to this molecule. Uh, we've actually added two because we added a hydrogen in this spot as well. Addition of hydrogen, that means that this reaction is an example of a reduction reaction. It might be a little bit trickier to see what's going on with this reaction. You've got to be pretty good with line structures. Oh, actually, I guess not because we can see that the hydrogen atom on the OH is being removed. This oxygen atom doesn't have a hydrogen anymore, so we are looking at removal of hydrogen. This is an example of an oxidation reaction, which we indicate with a capital O in square brackets. Um, there's another way of classifying oxidation or reduction that doesn't come up very often. I didn't include it in any of my examples here. Instead of adding or removing hydrogen, we could also be adding or removing a halogen. They bond the same way as hydrogens. So maybe we just see halogens being added or removed.